All right, hello, wine drinking people. We are back, still the 25th, 26th of August, something like that. And a lot of drinking to get through here in the store. Another supplier I hadn't seen for, for a long time, Vindavino, and I was really surprised when I got their when I got their list, and it was one page. This is a one of was one of the largest, most important in, Italian importers in the business at one time. Well, that was all Mark de Grazia for the most part, as they were the exclusive agent for them for years. And today, a lot of good value stuff, a lot of good everyday stuff. Nothing that, you know, really shocking except for one wine, that Primitivo, which if you would have told me that was going to be my most exciting wine in this tasting, I would have said you're absolutely crazy, but uh, it was. And that's why we taste the wine here at the Wine Watch, folks. You never know what you're going to get till you open that cork. All right, well, Nino Franco, Rustico Prosecco, Superior Verde Biedene, sounds like a very important wine, uh, but uh, still Prosecco, you know, just fresh apple, kind of uh, fruit, white flowers, a little chalky nuance, the supposedly method champenoise, 10 to 11 grams of residual sugar, pretty fruity, you notice that, and uh, short, pleasant finish, Prosecco, you know, is not my thing, but this one is not bad for 17 and a quarter. Uh, the, Vesu the, the Vesivo, rather, Falangina, Benventano. Uh, this is a wine from Campagno. Benventano is the town, and it's a co-op wine, so, you know, light bouquet, kind of gardenia-like floral nuance, melon, a little bit of white uh, pepper spice, tangy on the tongue with a light chalky nuance, clay, kind of light melon rind fruit, kind of savory finish, a good wine, $17. And then Casa Silva, one of the properties I visited in the Cochagua, their Pinot Noir Reserva. Hey, for $11.75, it was okay, but Pinot Noir from a Colchagua? Really? Uh, usually we're going out to San Antonio out near the coast, a little cooler areas where we get that, but some dried herbs on the nose, red cherry, kind of dried tobacco spice, light and tangy style of Pinot with some light red cherry fruit, some barnyard notes, kind of dried tobacco spice on the finish. Not bad for eleven seventy five. All right, Caldura Sangiovese Terra di Chetti, and this is a you know ten dollar Chianti, you know light sweet cherry fruit in the nose, bright and forward wine, very appealing. Notes of kind of flowers there, nice forward fruit, sweet cherry and plum, and a short pleasant finish. Good wine, ten dollars and fifty cents. You can cook with it, man. All right, and you can also drink it while you're cooking with it. Fiori di San Marzano Primitivo Sud Puglia, and this is a. Uh, the entry-level wine from this property, kind of bright blueberry jam-like fruit, sun-dried plums uh, on the nose with some sweet tobacco spice and some sweet herbs, rosemary, a touch of vanilla. Sweet tobacco spice on the tongue there, also shown to that cherry and plum fruit, some smooth tannins, a short but pleasant finish with brown spice. Good, $13.25. Can you see the trend here? Good, 13 good, 11 uh, Not bad stuff, but all really inexpensive. Until we get to this Mama Jamma Primitivo Di Mandura Sessantani, 60-year-old vines here, 46 bucks, folks, and worth every penny. One of the most exotic Primitivos I have ever had. Black tar, black soy, dark spices uh, complement this black cherry coulisse-like fruit on the nose. Really sweet and seductive tobacco spice, coffee, really complex bouquet, a big and extracted wine on the palate as well with a load of che little cherry liqueur-like fruit, very intoxicating, the layers of spice and zesty acidity clean things up, keeping things fresh and balanced. Most excellent juice. Wow. Wowzer. And then we go down here. You know, we always want to go up. End on an up note. I said, said that, didn't I, in the last review? Vesuvo Aglianico Benventano. And uh, this is a nice wine. All right. Aglianico does have big tannins, but uh, this Primitivo was just wild, man. A bit of dark cherry and black plum fruit on the nose, kind of dried meats, dark spices, cocoa and coffee. A firm wine on the palate, lots of tannins, good amount of fruit here, a nice amount of spice there as well. And, uh, you know, turn it a bit dry, kind of cocoa notes on the finish, but uh, really nice wine. Would have been better if we showed it before the Primotivo. All right, next up, a visit from good friend, our good friend Sean at Paul Maz Vineyard. 